Prologue The war on Ison had slowed down. It was rare, but from time to time the battle waned on a given front while things heated up elsewhere. Tonight, that slowdown was the Western Front. A group of Creek's guardsmen were off duty. The sky had cleared up and you could see the stars. In fact, it had been dry for several days now. The air was cold, making it somewhat less than pleasant to be standing around. So they gathered about a low fire. As they munched on their MREs, the topic turned around to childhood. This eventually led them to talking about their favorite scary stories. Guardsman Gamma 7365 looked about. I have a tale of pure horror, he related. The others looked at him. One gestured for him to tell it. The guardsman took his flashlight and shined it up under his chin. Have you ever heard the story of Theta One? he asked. A few shuddered, but most had not heard this story. The others in the know kept quiet as Gamma 7365 continued. Theta One was a guardsman so successful he never failed. Not only that, but not once did he get wounded. Eventually he lived so long they had made him the leader of his own regiment where he led from the front with distinction. That is when he became Theta One, unnoticed by all. The sergeant had quietly slipped out of the firelight, going to parts unknown. Gamma 7365 paused for effect at this point. The other guardsman didn't seem that impressed with the story so far, but still, he continued. He fought in over four wars before finally, he died. He paused again, long enough for those listening to shrug or nod with approval. Abruptly, Gamma 7365 jumped up and exclaimed, Of old age! The group recoiled. Gamma 7365 started to lurch about, swaying in close to members of the group. He passed on peacefully. One of the new recruits recoiled in disgust. He swung around to get in close to another. In his sleep, he cried. This caused the new guy to let out a sharp, yet strangled yelp. Gamma 7365 straightened up and slowly went back to sit down. He leaned in close to the fire. He died at the start of this very war over 12 years ago, he continued. It is said the God Emperor rejected him because of his lack of sacrifice, and so his very soul, happy and content, haunts these very trenches. Late at night he seeks out lone guardsmen who have fallen asleep on duty so he can smile at them and tuck them in. From the shadows, an eerie voice was heard. It spoke in a moan. I am so. Then from out of the shadows jumped the sergeant without his gas mask on. He had a flashlight pointed at his mouth and was smiling as wide as he could. He lunged into the middle of the gathering, shouting, Happy, 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 happy! The new recruits all jumped out of their skins, one going so far as to die for cover. Ah, oh, it's Theta One! Someone shouted, before everyone calmed down and had a big laugh. As they gathered around the fire again, the veterans making fun of the fresh meat, a figure stepped into the firelight from further down the trench. The glint of his cybernetic replacements made it quite clear. This could only be one man. Alpha One. The top dog. The big cheese. Numero uno. The big man himself. He was famous, or is it infamous, for getting down in the trenches with his men. He didn't ask them to endure anything he himself would not. Rumor had it he was more machine than man. Rumor had it. That he was over 200 years old. Rumor had it he once killed an orc by glaring at it so hard it had a heart attack and died. Obviously, not all the rumors are true. Still, he was a badass. He had long ago earned the unwavering respect of his men. 
so when they noticed his presence, they all went silent. As they began to stand at attention, Alpha One held out a mechanical hand, motioning for them to remain seated. He said nothing, just watching the men gathered around the fire. His eyes flitted from gas mask to gas mask, looking for weakness, considering how to encourage their strengths. He walked over to a bench the men had pulled up to the fire and pointedly looked at where the sergeant was seated. The sergeant got the message and moved over to give Alpha One some room. Alpha One sat down and warmed his hands by the fire, which seemed like an odd gesture, considering that both his arms had been replaced with cybernetics at some point. The men just sat there in awkward silence, not quite knowing what to do. The only sound was the crackling fire as they burned what little vegetation they could find on this chaos-accursed planet. So, the silence was broken when Alpha One finally spoke. You like ghost stories? The men all looked at each other. A few nodded, not quite knowing where this was going. I got a ghost story for you. He mentioned in an offhanded way. He hunched forward to get a closer look of the fire. It happened on the planet of Rax. Alpha One picked up a long piece of reclaimed wood from a smashed shipping crate. He paused as he poked the fire to turn over the coals. The fire started to burn lower, forcing everyone to pull in just a little bit closer. Ever heard the story? He asked the group. Of Epsilon 228. 